All right, everyone, welcome back to Show Me the Truth. Listen, I have a great episode here for you today. I'm going to dig into something that perhaps um, no one else is looking at. And if you have ever read in the Word, you realize that we're supposed to treat our enemies or those that call themselves our enemies, we're supposed to treat them good. We're, we're supposed to treat them a certain way, all right? Um, so what I want to do is I want to show this clip uh, of the president's son. And after that, I want to give you my reaction to it and how we should actually look at him and at how we're treating those who call themselves our enemies. Okay, so check this out and I'll be back with a word. For six years, MAGA Republicans, including members of House committees who are in a closed door session, session right now, have impugned my character, invaded my privacy, attacked my wife, my children, my family, and my friends. They have ridiculed my struggle with addiction, they have belittled my recovery, and they have tried to dehumanize me, all to embarrass and damage my father, who has do devoted his entire public life to service. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? See, that's why you can't talk about your enemies. That's why you can't rejoice at the destruction of your enemies because they're going to use stuff like this. And you know what? The other side, uh, if you will, um, they have been uh, belittling him. They've been making fun of him. But that right there is why you don't because the enemy can use that to turn it around on you. And the Bible even says that, listen, if you do that, the Lord's going to turn away his wrath that was supposed to justly come upon the enemy because of what you did. So stop rejoicing at your enemy's destruction. Stop rejoicing at these people's destruction. Listen, the Lord does not have pleasure in the death of the wicked. He doesn't have pleasure in that. So guess what? Neither should we. We should just continue to pray for him. We should just continue to uh, pray for the president and leave those you know mean comments that you may have, right? And they may be justified. But leave them to yourself because we want justice done, okay? We want God to move. But you know what? If we're moving, he can't move, all right? There's things that are happening right now that we need to, as the people of God, all right, we need to make sure that we are on our P's and Q's, that we're doing what we need to do to ensure that God is moving. We, Folks, please don't limit the hand of God, because God is getting ready to wipe these slates clean. But if you step in the way, he can't do what he needs to do on the earth. And that is set us free from this tyrannical government. So allow God, please, to do what he needs to do. Say, hey, you know, that man does need help. You know, he has done good things in his life. And it's true. He has done good things in his life. And we need to highlight that. We need to start praying for him. I would love for senators and representatives to start praying right there at the, the oversight committee, right there in the session. Start praying for Hunter. Start praying for the president. Because you know what happens when that happens? Listen, when you start blessing your enemies, you know what happens? A coal of fire is upon their heads. That's what Jesus said. They, if you start blessing your enemies, God is able to move in magnificent ways. Let me give you this example. I remember <clears throat> kind of cursing uh, the strip club that I would go by uh, on my way to Tucson here in uh, this local area. And I remember cursing it until one day I heard about the power of blessing by Carrie Kirkwood. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to bless that place. I'm going to bless that place. I'm going to bless that owner. I'm going to bless those people inside there. Do you not know that that place closed down not too, not too soon, not too, not too long afterwards? I mean, it was like a, a couple months, maybe, right after I did that because there was a horrific accident that happened and everything. They just had to close it all down. And it was a very successful place. 
but that's the power of blessing. I hope you hear what I'm saying. And so bless your enemies. It may not mean what you think it means, <laughs> okay? God knows how. You see, you have to move by the laws of God, okay? All right, in order to have God do what he needs to do, you got to first do what you need to do, which is bless. That's what you've been called to do. You've been called to bless your enemies. You've been called to bless people. So listen, bless and watch the blessing come upon you. God bless you. God loves you. God smiles when he sees you.